Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Give us this day our daily bread were the words of Jesus when the disciples came to him with the request, Lord, teach us to pray. You know nothing is more basic than food, and when you lack it, you go one-on-one -on -one with God asking him to provide it for you. When he does it in such a way that you know it was he who did it, your faith grows. Guy and Audrey Duffield had that experience the year before God gave them a little baby girl, who some 23 years later became my wife. Here's how Guy Duffield, my father-in-law, described it. In the year 1935, Mrs. Duffield and I were pastoring a small church. It was our first church after we had been married. After several years there, we felt that our ministry in that place was finished. So we talked with the district supervisor about the possibility of a move. He offered us another pastorate. The monthly reports from this church showed that it had a considerably larger membership than the one we had been pastoring. I am not going to say that this did not influence our agreeing to go there. However, upon our arrival, we discovered this larger membership was only on the monthly reports. They were certainly not in the church pews. In fact, the actual membership was much smaller than the church we had left. To our surprise, we found that our weekly salary was to be 10 U.S. dollars. Those were the Great Depression days. Only one man in the church had steady work. We were, of course, considerably taken aback by these circumstances, and we wondered how we were going to make out. We had been there only a few days when a farmer backed his little white pickup truck into our yard and unloaded a 100-pound sack of potatoes into our shed. And he, Mr. Smith, said, When these are gone, let me know, and I'll bring you another sack. We thanked him from grateful hearts and bade him goodbye. One hundred pounds of potatoes. We felt like millionaires. We were rich. You can do so many different things with potatoes. You can boil them, bake them, fry them, hash brown them, scallop them, stuff them, and so forth. We enjoyed those potatoes. But after some weeks had gone by, I noticed that the potatoes in the sack were going down and down. Then I remembered what Brother Smith had said. When these are gone, give me a call and I'll bring you another sack. I do not know, wrote Guy Duffield, whether it was pride or stubbornness, but I could no more have called Brother Smith and said, We need some more potatoes than I could have jumped off a cliff. But I did get down on my knees and prayed, Lord, will you tell Mr. Smith we need some more potatoes? Do you know it was less than two weeks after that that the little white pickup truck stopped at our back door and Brother Smith unloaded another 100-pound sack of potatoes for our use and put it down by the other sack. And when I lucked into the first sack, there were exactly two potatoes left. Did we get blessed? Just to think that we had a God who loved us enough to even keep track of the number of potatoes in our sack. That simple experience has given me faith to believe God in the years that followed to raise tens of thousands of dollars for the work of the Lord. For the rest of his life, Guy Duffield looked back at that incident, and it was a defining event in his life, as he learned that going one-on-one -on -one with God produces rich results. You know, friend, Paul was right when he said, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, the next generation, my generation, can say, yes, it's still true. He knows our need, and he will supply it as we trust him. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines.